Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to the Boat Gang. All right, we got Miss Geico 24 on the block. Uh, this is uh, Project Zippy, part five to our beginner RC boat upgrade build series. Uh, we're going to be installing these two carbon fiber battery trays that I made. Okay, um, you can buy battery trays. They're pretty cheap. You can get fiberglass, carbon fiber. But we're going to install them in the in the sponsons for a lower CG. We got a low CG motor mount that I made. So uh, stick around, Big B. We're not clad RC. Okay, so let's get to it, you guys. Um, so on a catamaran, center gravity is important, like very, very important. Okay, with this particular build here, I'm trying to keep my center of gravity as low in the boat as I can get it. Okay, I've uh, lowered my motor mount, get it low. We're actually installing our battery trays in the sponson to keep the center of gravity low. Okay, so the boat don't have a tendency to roll or flip in a turn. Okay, I've noticed that catamarans like a low CG, period. Well, all boats, really. Uh, so we're mounting our battery trays there. Okay, but we actually need to figure out our center of gravity before we mount our battery tray. The last thing you want to do is put your battery tray in the boat. It's way back here, and you ended up needing to run your batteries way up here. So uh, on a catamaran... 20 uh, 25 to 35% length from the transom okay on all my catamarans I've noticed it, especially for high speed runs the CG it's been landing about right be, about a quarter inch to half inch behind the forward step on most all my catamarans for high speed I kind of go up forward like almost center gravity almost in line with my forward step and like for ovals my cg will be back back here like on the 28 percent from the transom length okay so um so to find your center of gravity you need to actually have all your electronics available okay basically throw your speed control where it's going to be at like you know roundabout final resting place you can always kind of move your esc back forward for added center gravity adjustability uh going to throw our servo about where it's going to be at well in its final resting place which is going to be right there we have all our hardware on so that's in the equation the only thing that's not in the equation right now is the water cooling lines so that's basically and the receiver but uh that's that's not very heavy okay so we're going to put our battery tray about where it's going to be at okay we're going to use the batteries that we're going to be using in the boat i actually have some um z 120c 2200s coming they're about the same weight as this 2200 so we're going to put this guy in there these weigh the same as that so i'm going to use these for the time being okay and um, we're going to try to see where the CG lands at with this configuration right here. Okay, so. Well, that's actually pretty freaking good. That's actually like right on the money, right where we need it. Okay, for a speed run. So I'm going to move my battery tray up a little bit. Okay, for a speed run, I want to try to get it a little forward of that area. So I want it to land like right behind the step if needed and I want to take that into consideration when I'm setting up my boat okay so so it's like right behind right behind the step so that's pretty good so we're gonna move our CG back move our batteries all the way back in the battery tray okay and that would be like an oval configuration and it's about 28 percent the hull okay measured from measured from the transom 28 percent from the transom when you're shopping for battery trays for an rc boat you know you're upgrading the battery tray in a catamaran or a mono hull ready to run you're upgrading the tray or just shopping for a tray for a fresh build uh measurements you got to measure you know you got to get the right measurements and what i like to do to find the right measurement i'll actually take a piece of cardboard cut it to size okay make sure the cardboard temporary battery tray fits where you want it to fit okay once you got it cut and fit right 
you can then get you a measurement on the battery tray okay and then do your shopping around the measurement for the tray itself on a catamaran uh, it needs to be sized correctly okay if you find a tray that's like a millimeter or two larger you can always sand some off the side and make it fit rc boats nothing fits like a glove you know you gotta modify it to get it to work in any particular hole you know you got plenty of outlets plenty of different vendors that sell different battery trays fiberglass carbon fiber what have you but uh just make sure you get the ones close enough to fit in your boat so what we'll be using is like a mid cure epoxy 15 minute okay i got this at my local hobby shop i thought it was bob smith that's usually what i use but i actually like this epoxy that hobby chest carries jacksonville um i'll be using some chopped up fiberglass okay that's going to just add some reinforcement to our battery tray so they don't fly out that's the last thing you want is your battery tray flying loose in the boat in a hard crash and i know we'll be crashing i'm pretty good at that okay mixing bowl mixer paintbrush okay um i got some uh, 40 grit sandpaper the the key to bonding to abs is roughing up and cleaning the surface okay that's where a lot of people make their mistake they don't rough the the plastic up enough to get a good adhesion okay so i'm using 40 gonna rough up where my, my tray is gonna be sitting and around where the tray is gonna sit i'm gonna have to put the camera down okay so i've actually already installed and roughed up this side i installed four mounting blocks okay where my tray is going to be sitting i just epoxy four carbon fiber blocks there so when i put my tray in okay it's going to make it a lot easier for me i'm not going to be like trying to get the angles right and all that i can basically apply my epoxy set my tray in and basically forget it you know it'll sit right on those blocks right here and the outside is going to sit on the top of that spray rail okay so they'll basically be sitting in the boat just like that both sides and those little mounting tabs help out okay so i'm gonna get it all roughed up and then we're gonna clean it with isopropyl alcohol or you could use denatured alcohol either one So I got my mounting surface clean, sanded, and cleaned real good. I've given it about 10 minutes to, to, to dry, you know, from the alcohol. So basically went three and a half grams epoxy for my first application. Okay, I'm using this old nut driver. I broke the tip off to mix it up with. It's actually been working great for a mixer. <laughs> I like it. I'll just clean the tip of it which i can't use it as a tool anymore it's a mixer now or a hammer <laughs> okay so um <clears throat> keep you some some alcohol close by for cleanup you know for my first application here i'm, I'm just going to add a small amount of fiberglass i don't want to make it too thick i just want a little bit in there just to kind of give it some some integrity just to add you know some uh strength but not make it too thick you can use what i call micro balloons which is a it's a powdered additive for epoxy that thickens the epoxy and turns it into a glue it's basically powdered fiberglass basically okay so what i'm gonna do is just get me some on my brush here and i'm gonna brush it exactly where my, my tray is gonna be okay right where my tray is going to be on both the inside and the outside of the hole all right i want to kind of go heavy so whenever i set my tray in there it's going to like press down on that on that epoxy you know might even need to mix up some more Now we're going to put just just pure epoxy on our tray okay on the top i'm going to try to be neat with it i want to get it in all those little epoxy damn holes that i drilled try to be neat on the top side on the bottom side 
we can kind of go crazy with it. Gives it give yourself some surface area for the epoxy to grab onto whatever you're epoxying into the boat, you know. So basically ready to go in the boat. I'm going to try to get it exactly where it needs to be so we don't make a mess. I'm using my step as a reference. And we're going to take the rest of our epoxy and just kind of kind of fill the gap from the hull and the battery tray. Pretty easy. <laughs> Okay, so if you want to add a little bit of extra reinforcement while the epoxy is still wet and like tacky, get you some fiberglass hair on your finger or on a stick, okay, a little bit of hair like that, and strategically place it on the seam where your battery tray in the hull meets, okay, tap it in, like work it in so that it's the fiberglass is not dry it's all wetted out you know that's going to add some reinforcement without adding a whole lot of weight if you just keep adding epoxy with no kind of reinforcement um, it's not going to have any strength If your epoxy starts sticking you know if it's setting up and the epoxy and the hairs are sticking to your brush I take a little bit of rubbing alcohol just a little bit okay and just put it on the tip of my brush not much and it actually prevents the uh, the hairs the epoxy from sticking to the brush you can actually kind of place place the fiberglass hairs where you want them you know and I'm just kind of building it up in this seam right here so it don't break out the boat, you know. I've been using this brush for about a week now. Every time I use it, I'll clean it out with rubbing alcohol, you know. Wipe, dip it in the alcohol, you know. Wipe the epoxy off the bristles. You got to catch it before it dries too much, you know. And uh, a lot of times you can just rinse the rinse the, the the resin off the bristles and uh you can reuse your brush you know then you use that alcohol that you use to clean your brush with <laughs> and you can clean your work surface tidy everything up With your clean brush, dip it in the alcohol, knock some of the alcohol off, you know, so it's not too wet, and you can clean your, your tray, any of the excess epoxy, kind of move it over where it needs to be at, manicure it, make it look nice. Okay, I'll show you what it looks like when I'm all done. I'm going to basically follow suit on the other side, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. D U N D. Okay, I got the both sides, both sides epoxied in the boat. It actually turned out pretty nice. Okay, got them the same like angle in the hull, in the sponsons there. They're the same distance from the transom, and my new batteries came in the 2200 120C Z. Okay, uh, 3S twins, so we can run 6S. Okay, so um, I actually have a question for you guys. All right, uh, I had mentioned I was going to run the stock motor with this little 45 amp ESC 
okay, running on 3S, and then we're going to see if the stock motor would take 4S. So do you guys want to see that, like, on our first run, or do you guys want to see upgraded power first run? Just go ahead and go for the gusto, you know? So let me know about that, you know? Stock setup or upgraded, okay? Um, now all I need to do is put my battery straps in. That's pretty simple. I that's pretty simple you guys can figure that out you know i uh, got my servo in the boat just two screws there it drops right in got the clevis hooked up and we're basically ready to go we'll finalize all that in the next video uh the next video we'll be running water cooling and the oxygen marine transit mounted water pickup okay uh probably mount up the well, we'll probably finish the video finish the boat in the next video so um Yep, thanks for watching the Project Zippy Upgrade Series. We'll see you next time.